Good morning, Richmond. I'm glad to be able to begin our week together on this Monday morning. I want you to find Jeremiah chapter 33 in your Bibles. Yesterday in the sermon, I spent a little bit of time early in the sermon uh, talking from this verse. I just wanted to take you to it again this morning and, and uh, go a little bit further with it. So Jeremiah 33, verses 1 through 3. The word of the Lord came to Jeremiah a second time while he was still shut up in the court of the guard. Thus says the Lord who made the earth, the Lord who formed it to establish it. The Lord is his name. Call to me and I will answer you and will tell you great and hidden things that you have not known. The first thing I want you to see here is that this is a command. The Lord commands Jeremiah to call to him to pray. Uh, we're commanded in the same way, by extension, that we're commanded to uh, call to the Lord, to cry out to him. Uh, this is good uh, that the Lord does this. This isn't a mere suggestion or an idea, uh, but it's a command, and the failure to heed it is sin. Uh, but I want to encourage you with the reality that uh, the commands of God are good for us. He doesn't command us arbitrarily. Uh, he loves us. He knows what will work and what will bless us. First John chapter 5, verse 3 says his commandments are not burdensome. And the commandment to pray is a great blessing to us as we, uh, as we seek to obey it. Then I want you to notice something about the context here. So Jeremiah records this in the middle of trouble, both personally, he's shut up in the court of the guard. So you may feel a bit shut up today. I think all of us are experiencing that. Uh, but that confinement to Jeremiah was a great blessing to him. Uh, the larger context historically is the, the fall of Judah to the Babylonians, to Nebuchadnezzar. Um, that is happening. It's coming quickly. Jeremiah has been predicting it, prophesying that it would happen. But in the middle of it, he's not shielded from the trouble, but he's experiencing it as well. But in the middle of trouble to God's people, uh, there have been great blessings. And that's always been the case. The Lord works remarkable things in the lives of his people when they are hard pressed, when things are difficult. If you think about it, the books of Jeremiah and Ezekiel and Daniel and Habakkuk and Zephaniah were all written in the context of this trouble to Judah. And then earlier, the book of Isaiah, the book of Micah was written during Israel's fall to Assyria during that time. And then when you get to the New Testament, you see uh, Paul's prison letters, Colossians and Philippians and Philemon and Ephesians, and then certainly his letter from the dungeon in 2 Timothy. So the Lord does great things in us uh, when we're hard pressed, when we're going through difficulty. So I wanna encourage you to flip your perspective on what we're going through presently and think about the way the Lord wants to bless you and teach you and grow you as you cry out to him during this time. So call and then context, uh, context historically, and then the context just in the passage. Jeremiah shut up in the court of the guard. The Lord says to him, thus says the Lord who made the earth, the Lord who formed it to establish it. The Lord is his name. So he calls attention to who he is to Jeremiah, that he's the Lord who made the earth, who established it, that one of great power, the heavens, even the highest heavens can't contain him, that one tells the Jeremiah, talk to me, call to me, ask me. And uh, so that same God is, is commanding us in the same way even today. And then finally, there's a promise here, call to me and I will answer you and will tell you great and hidden things that you have not known. And so the Lord not only uh, promises to answer, but in a particular way where he will reveal his character and his goodness to us. I think on Friday we might look a little further into those uh, characteristics. So have a great day.